Hey y'all, welcome to part two. Let's go ahead and pick up where we left off. All you gotta do is say so I'm just so mesmerized at this space and just how I just keep thinking about how the land was initially when I came here. It's the same land because the landmark took me to the same place. It's named the same thing and everything. But this, when I thought, when I saw the name, this is what I expected. But, you know, when I first came here initially, because they did have like a small garden, I felt like the name, you know, it fit. But I didn't know that. I don't know if at that time it was, oop, am I finna walk into some water? I don't want to do that. I didn't know at that time if it was supposed to be Japanese themed because there was nothing there in my opinion that was felt Japanese inspired like absolutely nothing so I don't know if they um it seems that they have changed um what they wanted the land to look like and added the Japanese um thing to it and I'm very very glad that they did it's almost like they knew that this was one of my favorite themes in Second Life. I don't know. I don't know. So more benches. I do like that when they have sitting spaces, the sitting spaces are very specific. So um, we'll look on this part and then we'll look out. This is, wait, let me finish my thought. Um, the spaces are very specific. So it's like you can sit at the bench or you can like sit in a meditation area or you can sit in the spa area or you can sit at a smaller restaurant or you can sit at a larger restaurant like this one. And I do like that. I like that they will they give you the opportunity to kind of just like you could chill out if you want to. But if you're going to sit like sit, sit in like a formal sitting space, it's going to be a place where it's either going to be a place where you're going to eat. It's, it's going to be some place for you to eat and interact. And I do really like that. So they give you the opportunity to kind of chill out by yourself or um, to have a group of people to chill out with. So I do like that. So this is really, really nice. Really quickly, I have... Um, as of lately this last week so okay so being completely transparent y'all i have gained weight um i gained 50 pounds when i had my son and just recently as of a couple months ago um there was a large loss and it really kind of not in weight but in life and it really kind of sent me spiraling it was very unexpected um quite devastating in many many ways and it definitely sent me um spiraling and so since then i have put in my mind that it's time to like you know get yourself back together um i don't like to spend a lot of time um grieving i grieve as much time as i feel like i need however i don't like to stay in the same space of grief if that makes sense so for people who might not understand what I'm saying is um, I'm a firm believer of grieving is extremely healthy and it is very much so okay I love mushrooms but you can sit down in the grief for a little bit but don't lay down and I was getting to the point where I was about to lay down so I kind of had to like snap myself out of being in that particular space and so I'm like okay you have to get yourself back together um, for yourself as well as for your son because this is getting to the point where it is not healthy and so I'm like okay I want to lose I want to lose this weight now in my um, earlier um, lifestyle vlogs I talked about this everybody in my family they're all like oh no you know you look good you know but it's like for for me I know what I want to look like and so I want to I want to have that freedom of just feeling more confident within myself like I did um before I gained the um baby weight it's not baby weight no more it's just weight you know it's just weight at this point you know you can i feel like you can only blame your weight gain um so long on your child after a while it's like yeah and now your, your child's walking and talking baby this is on you and so um that's the space that i'm in now so i was gonna do ozempic because 
I was like, okay, listen, I tried alternate day fasting. That was cool and all, but I wanted something that was going to be more sustainable. With the alternate day fasting, I actually want to look at this cookie. With the alternate day fasting, it was cool and all, but what happens with me is when my calories drop too low, I get heart palpitations. And one thing I'll play about is my heart. So I had to stop the alternate day fasting. Although it was working, I knew that it was not something that I was going to be doing long term. So I'm like, let me try to figure out something else. So I was like, okay, well, you know, maybe I'll do Ozempic because my thought frame was I could start Ozempic. Once I get my weight to where I, I need my weight to be, then I'll just come off of it because for me, I know that this is not, I've never been, the only other time that I was this size was when I was on Depo. And I got big because of Depo. And when I got off of Depo, I lost. I had gained like 100 pounds on Depo. Yeah, it was crazy. And when I got off of Depo, I lost like 150 pounds, like about 100, and, I'm gonna say about 130 pounds within a year. Within a year, no loose skin, none of that. Within a year, it's like my body went back to normal immediately and then some. So I know that my body does not i'm not supposed to be this size you know what i'm saying like it's not a, a situation where it's like oh you know all my life i've been on the heavier side i have not i have not my nickname um with my family they used to call me olive oil like I've, I've always been smaller but i feel like with age um your body tends to hold on to stuff more and for me it is that is not my jam that is not my jam. I think these are some of the same things on all these tables. I'm just checking because I'm like, I love the food. Y'all know I love food in Second Life. Um, so I was like, okay, I'm going to try. I wanted to try the Ozempic. And then I got nervous because, of course, I'm never going to try something without like doing research on it. And so a lot of people are talking about like, oh, you can get stomach paralysis and stuff like that. And I was just like, yeah, no, I'm, I, I can't do that. And so um, I, I've tried the intermittent fasting before and it definitely does work. But I had wanted something to kind of like kickstart it because I'm like, I don't want to be waiting a whole bunch of time. I want this way off now. What is this space? This is glorious. Look at how pretty this is. Oh, this is beautiful. It's like you just got transferred into a whole different space. Is this the garden? I was thinking everything else that we were saying was the garden. Is this the actual garden? This is beautiful. So, um, my biggest thing was like I needed to be in ketosis. And so, I decided that I'm like, okay, you know what? We're going to try to just kind of do plant-based just like stick to it as much as possible because i felt like because i am a meat eater my vice is sweets and so i felt like okay well if i do just like plant-based then i can use i can like do the fruits as the sweets and even though i was doing that anyway um I know that when my body is kind of cleansed from or kind of like detox, look how beautiful these flowers are from all of the meat and things like that. Those um, sugar cravings tend to wane off. And so that those were my hopes in saying like, OK, you know what, I'm going to go um, just plant based. So for the last like, I'm going to say like week. I've been, you know, pretty plant-based. Um, I got some watermelons. I love watermelons. Love them. Love them, love them, love them. So sad that the season is about to be done, but I love watermelons. So I've been, you know, eating that, some salads and things like that. Um, trying to cut back on the eggs because I do love my scrambled eggs, but I think sometimes I kind of just do too much with the scrambled eggs um, or I have them too often. So I kind of just wanted to keep it very plant-based as much as possible but still kind of have some of the things um other things that i was having before like uh like an egg here or there not so much like okay i'm gonna get up i'm gonna have um some scrambled eggs and toast and stuff like that i've been staying away from the bread and things like that and you guys so it's been about six days and i've lost 8.4 pounds now i will say 
I am, I have, I'm, I really feel like these are, it's water weight, but that's fine because I need the water weight off anywho. But I have had my energy has, look, I say all this to say my energy has been completely changed it feels it is i'm not even gonna say it feels it is so um before i was having a lot of concentration um issues and i was just i really did not like that it was very difficult for me to kind of just like buckle down and be like okay you know what let's we're doing a video i would want to do the video but i was just being so easily distracted i'm um, very much so given like um like add and i'm like i don't feel like that's something that i normally have to deal with as far as like staying focused on certain things but i was having such a difficult time with it since i have cut i'm thinking it's the meat y'all i'm thinking it's the meat now i have cut back on um the sweets completely and so my sweets are now like the fruit and i feel like it's almost like it was a brain fog and just in a week i could be psyching myself out but i choose not to believe that um the brain fog is gone it's like I am able to really, really be focused in all of those videos that I was talking to you guys about um, how I was just kept doing videos the day before they needed to come out, which I mean, it wasn't a bad thing. But at the same time, I didn't like not having that buffer um, just for like what ifs and things like that. Since I have just kind of like cut out the meats and cut back on the sweets like just like not dealing with sweets at all my energy is back i feel like so energized to do these videos and i'm able to kind of just like well not kind of i'm able to like do multiple videos in a day before i was not able to do that i don't know if i can come here i kind of feel like i should and this is given like a small community and because that gate is closed i don't want to go beyond it so we'll just kind of look around from here um this whole entire time that i've been going through all of these different things and these different emotions i have not been able to do multiple videos a day have not been able to do them at all and but since um i've stopped with the meat and stuff like that I've been able to do them. It's the craziest thing. I'm not sure if it's the the sweets or the meat, but one of them, one of them was, or both of them, it was really doing a number on me. And so now I'm like, I wanna go completely plant-based. Like I wanna go completely plant-based. It was so, it is so refreshing to kind of like have me back so this so you see how this is like a house here and then they have another house there and then they have another house here and then up there let me see so you guys can see this house so this feels like this is like a small community so they do this so they do still have the community aspect of it um which i really really like um i none of these spaces look like they are rented but they do still have the community aspect to them um like they had before but before it was like mostly community this seems more like mostly um common space but yeah so it feels so good to have me back just to have that energy back to have that life back and i'm so happy i feel like it couldn't have come um at a better time but it was definitely, I didn't realize that, that will, that's what was going on until I kind of thought, I'm like, dang, I have like a nice amount of videos like in the vault, just like sitting, waiting to be edited. And before there was, there was nothing, there was nothing in the reserve. The reserve was empty, much like I was, you guys. We're having epiphanies today. Epiphanies is what we're having. So yeah, so i'm really excited about this my cousin grows vegetables and i'm definitely going to hit her up to see if i can come and buy some vegetables for um from her because this is something that i definitely want to um 
start doing um, i'm not a i'm not gonna eat meat because of this or that okay so i can't can i not come over here okay i can't come over here so this must be a house um i'm not one of those like i'm not eating meat because of this or because of that like i'm not one of those like you know save the animals i, I feel you with the save the animals but that's not where i'm coming from at all I, it's the ugh it's the the way that it that the way that i feel now the way that i feel now really has made me like not want to deal with the meat at all and or the sweets now let me see if it lets me come over here because that house looks like it's for sale now i'm not gonna say that i'm not gonna have any sweets i'm not gonna do that that's something i'm not gonna do i'm not gonna say that but what I will say is that I will um, cut back on them tremendously because the only time that I really want the meat is when I'm on my um, cycle or when my cycle is coming. Let me see how much this place is. So this house is 720 lindens a week and you get 400 prams. I think that is damn good. And you get access to this whole entire land. This is one of those dust bunny homes and this place is huge. We are not gonna look through this whole place, but you guys get the gist. 400 prams really tis not enough for this gigantic tree house, but I think that the pricing is very, very um, affordable. So it's like a little neighborhood. I wanna walk through this little neighborhood cause it is super cute. So I couldn't go over up in this space. So I think this is like another tree house that they have, yep. So this is another treehouse rental that they have. So I'm definitely gonna keep you guys in the loop of how the whole plant-based thing goes. I really think that it's gonna go well. So this is another house and it has a gate. So we're not going to go beyond that gate, but it's a very, very pretty. This space, this land is absolutely amazing. So you guys, this is Athis Estates Garden and Spa. The landmark for this place will be in the description box below. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.